All right, so package here. Let's see what we've got in here. All right, security cameras, obviously. Basically PoE, or better be PoE. Doesn't say it though, does it? Um, yeah, we'll see. I'll purchase some cameras because I say I'm rejigging my entire uh, camera system. And you can get some reasonable cameras actually quite cheaply these days, but the only thing I'm trying to look for right now is actually PoE cameras, and I'm not sure these ones are PoE. Um, we'll have to plug it in to find out. I'll do that actually. I'll find a cable and I'll plug it in. We'll see if it powers up. Alright, so I plugged the thing into a PoE cable and I heard some clicks. I did see the um, LAN indicator flash once. I don't see it flash again yet though. Um, to cover up the sensor, it should turn the LEDs on. I can see them coming on, but you probably can't see it on camera. Let's just turn some of these lights off. Try and get it a bit darker. See that coming on? Don't know if you can see it or not. Anyway, they're coming on. So it does have power through PoE. Let's plug the other one in. Let's test that one out. See it flicked us in. But I haven't seen it. This one didn't show any activity, so I don't know, maybe it needs to be on the chi talking to a network before that happens. Just a nice bag on it. It's clicked a couple of times, and again, I don't know, it's just the way I was looking at it. I don't know, it look about right. I don't think the camera's actually picking it up. I can see red, but I don't think the camera's actually seeing it. So, anyway, it's got power. So at least those are working. Now these are, so these are 2 megapixel cameras, so 1080p cameras. And it doesn't say a lot else about them, actually, does it? Not really. It doesn't even say what size lens they've got on them. I don't even know what I purchased, which is um, probably not a good thing. I'll plug them in to find out now, won't I? That's okay. Hopefully the camera picture looks all right. I'm playing around with settings and I'm still trying to get these bloody settings figured out to make it work right. One thing is trying to get the focus, so it's a wide depth of field. Um, that's not been easy to try and get right. And um, I notice it tends to be a bit dark as well now, so I'm trying to sort of play with those settings too and get it a bit better as well. So it's not easy. I'm not a photography person, so it's all like quite foreign to me. Two by fifteen volt. 115 volts to 24 volt power. These are the options I was looking at using for the leakage tester, um, various power supplies, or even just generic ones actually. So I think I actually was looking at these originally thinking that I'd just um, get some for stock. This one here, so it's. Um, 24 volt output, two of them apparently, and two 115 volt AC inputs. So you can put them in series, you get a 230 volt input, and to give you, you know, obviously then you've got two isolated 24 volt outputs. I thought that could be handy for something for project. I need to have isolated outputs. Um, once you convert that straight to DC, it's going to be, I'll say, about 30 odd volts. So the 30 what 34 volts something like roughly I don't know I can't do the mess in my head so it's that one what's this one here supposed to be a bit more of a traditional style that one uh, so this is 24 volts as well very similar design dual 24 volt outputs and 0 to 110, 0, 110, 130. So this is configurable. So that would be the 0 volt tap there, and that's the 110, that's 130 volts. So you can actually then do 240 volts if you go right across there to there with those two looped. Um, right. 
and it's the last one. Transformers always handy things to have, you know, you never quite know what you're going to work on or what you have to replace or somebody has to make a little circuit to repair something and you have to do something to make it work. Right, this is another encapsulated one. This is 24 volts as well. Uh, 230 volt input, two, uh, dual 24 volt output again. So 230 volts pins 1 to 6, which are marked here, 1 to 6, so it's 230 volt in, 24 volt outputs again. So again, I was just looking at different power supplies they have laying around for various projects. Let's see what this is. Right. This is the same purchase of eBay. Um, I saw these on there and thought, ah, oh, great, I'm going to have to get those. These are HP feet. Um, so if you've got a tilting bow option as well, you need to stick those on there too. So I thought, well, I saw these there. Oh, you know, I've got one item that needs them. I did do a 3D printed thing, which would work based on this foot layout here. But sometimes you just want to have the original feet and um, these allowed for that. So, you know, with the tilting bowels as well. I saw those there, I thought, oh great. Um, then I saw them, well they sent me an email confirming it, which is all nice. And um, it had advertising within the email, you know, so, you know, some of the other listings and things they sell. And it had a whole stack of these feet. Um, so, I'm not sure these are actually original HP ones, I think these are like a, a remake. Someone's remade them or something, I'm not quite sure, they don't seem quite the same, but um, they could be, I'm not sure. Hmm. Might not, they probably aren't the original HPs, but that doesn't matter, as long as they fit properly and they do the same thing. The, um, no, that's the same, this email had a whole bunch of these feet, this plain feet, without the tilting bow options. Um, so I bought those as well, I'm just waiting for those to turn up. So then I've got a whole stack of these HP feet, so if I get any HP test gear which I'm working on, which needs new feet put on it, um, I've got a whole bunch of original ones to go with them. Because it's it's one of those things that always go missing, I don't know why, but the feet go missing. You often get bits of gear with no feet on. I'm guessing it's when it's rack mounted or something like that, I really don't know. But um, anyway, so it's nice to have these parts. Let's see what's in here. Is there anything in here? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> right. uh, yeah. Diodes. 150 volt, 5 watt Zener diodes. Now these are to go with the other di diodes we've got in another mail bag, which is sitting here still. These are 270 volts. You stick them together, you've got about 420 volts. Um, which I'm going to use as a clamping voltage to protect the um, maximum uh, input voltage to, on the leakage tester. So you can either do 540 volts by sticking two of those in series, or one of those instead and get 420 volts. Um, I think 420 is probably going to be more to where I want to be, and also allows for the voltage drop on the uh, multiplier as well, and that sort of stuff too. And by having it clamped, it means it should actually give a slightly better voltage regulation. I'm hoping, um, I don't know. But I was actually thinking about building a DC voltage regulator to go on a board as well, but um, I haven't done that. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. So thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. Um, much appreciated. If you're interested in supporting me to help me buy items for mailbag or projects to work on, you know, bits of test equipment to repair, that kind of thing. So having a Patreon supporters and people that donate to me via PayPal is, is very helpful. So if you're interested in helping to support me and um, you know contribute to the channel, um, then please check out my Patreon page, my PayPal donation options, which are down in the, in the description down there. Click on the Show More tab, this is down there. So um, thank you very much for not supporting me. I enjoy making videos, enjoy showing what I'm playing around with, trying to create content to keep you guys entertained, because this is an expensive hobby. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Click the bell icon. Bye.